Hi everyone. Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have a set Q, which is a set of subset of complex numbers. And we have to represent it in a complex plane. So basically Q is a set of all complex numbers which satisfy that condition mod Z minus one upon Z plus one, which is less than or equal to one. So we will start to discuss this example by considering that condition. So let me write here, we have, what is the condition given to us mod Z minus one upon Z plus one less than or equal to one. So generally what we do, we replace inequality by equality so we can easily find the curve. Okay, so let us replace inequality by equality. So therefore, the region is bounded by, is bounded by, say I'm going to replace inequality by equality. So mod Z minus one upon Z plus one is equal to one. So here what can we do? We can take separate, separate mod mod of numerator upon mod of denominator. So mod Z minus one upon mod Z plus one is equal to one. So let us shift this mod on that side. Here we have a division, there we will get a multiplication. So mod Z minus one is equal to one into anything, you will have the same mod Z plus one. So you know that after that we replace Z by its Cartesian form, which is X plus I Y. So let me do that. I am going to replace this Z by X plus I Y. So let us write here mod X plus I Y minus one mod X plus I Y plus one. So let us collect real and imaginary parts. So here real part is X minus one. Imaginary part is I Y. And here the real part is X plus one. Imaginary part is I Y again. So we will use the definition of mod, which is square root of square of real part plus square of imaginary part. So square root of X minus one square plus Y square. And here X plus one square plus y square. To remove square root, I will take square of both sides. So if you take square of both sides, square root will get cancelled and we will have simply this one. So you can easily see we have y square on both sides. So let us cancel y square or you can subtract. So we'll have x minus one square is equal to x plus one square. Let us expand the bracket using a minus b bracket square formula and a plus b bracket square formula. x square minus 2x plus 1, x square plus 2x plus 1. So now we can cancel x square from both sides. We can cancel 1 also from both sides. So the remaining part is minus 2x and here 2x. So just make a screenshot of it. There is no more space to write. See, I'm going to shift that minus 2x on one side. Okay, I'm going to shift it there. So we will have 2x plus 2x is equal to 0. So which is 4x is equal to 0. I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So 4x by 4 is equal to 0 by 4. That means obviously x is equal to 0. So this is equation of y axis x is equal to zero equation of y axis that means the region is bounded by y axis that means the region either lies on right hand side okay of that y axis or it lies in a left hand side of y axis so let us find it so uh, you may get confused since we have an inequality so definitely actual region lies on one side of that y axis what will i do i'm going to consider one point okay let me show here let us consider this point 1 comma 0. That means the value of Z is 1. Getting 1 comma 0. That means the point is Z is equal to 1. Let us put it here. What will I get? Z minus 1 upon Z plus 1. I'm going to put Z is equal to 1. 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus 1. So it will be 0. And obviously 0 less than or equal to 1. Getting that means the condition is satisfied. Condition is satisfied. That means the point which we have chosen, definitely it lies in a region, required region, getting? So that means that part of 
that side of y axis is a required region. So let me show here. Let me show here. So yes, so this is a region. Okay. Yes, so this is the region we get that means the uh, uh, half part of complex plane which lies in a right hand side of y axis. So its equation is x is equal to 0. So this is a required region. In this way, we have represented this given set Q in a complex plane. So make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.